What's up guys, welcome back to the 5th or 6th SML catch up video with today we'll be checking out SML Ruby Joseph's grandparents. You know, I remember when we used to saw Joseph's mom. And come and think of it, Joseph's now all forgot about it. But this time now we're gonna be seeing his grandparents. Very interesting. Make sure you go and subscribe to SML down below. Let's see how this will go. Oh, and Bell be better than Jeffy's grandparents, because nice. Jeffy's grandparents are pretty suck. Shark Boy and Lava Girl? <laughs> am I ready to watch Shark Boy and Lava Girl? Of course I am. It's a cinematic masterpiece. Oh, this came out after of, of my birthday back in 2021. That's something. So let's watch it. Well, Junior, on the way over here, I found this phone on the ground. You found a phone on the ground? Yeah, and it's unlocked, and it has a picture of like something on it. I don't know. Well, that looks crazy. Do so you don't know whose phone that is? No. Well, we should do some prank calls with it because if we call people from that phone, they won't know it's us. They'll believe it's whoever we pretend to be. <laughs> yeah. Okay, let, let, let's, let's prank call Joseph because Joseph doesn't have parents, so we should pretend to be his long lost grandparents that are super rich and that we want to take care of him. <laughs> yeah, I like it. It's so mean, but I want to do it. If you say about. All right, Cody. Yeah, whatever. Let me hear. Let me hear. Shop is ringing. Shop. Shh. Uh, hello? Uh, hey. Is this Joseph? Yeah, who is this? Um, this is your long lost grandpappy, Leviticus Seymour Pankins. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, you sure do. You have a grandma, too. Hey, hey, hey. it's your grandma, uh, Eleanor Saggy Bags Bacon. <laughs> There's no way. I really have grandparents. I never thought I would have grandparents, but now I have them. Yeah, we're your no grandparents, way. and no we're way. super rich, and we did a DNA test, and you're our only grandchild. So we'd love to give you all our money and travel around the world with you. Oh, man, this is like a dream come true. Thank you, Grandpa Leviticus. Oh, oh I would love to meet you right now. Where are you? You. Uh, we, we are, uh, at your friend Junior's house. Oh, wait, wait, why are you at Junior's house? Uh, because, uh, we were driving around in our very expensive limo looking for you because we love you so much, and, and, uh, our limo broke down in front of this kid Junior's house. <laughs> okay, that makes sense. Well, I'm coming over there right now. Stay there, because I never had family, and I need to meet you right now, Grandpa Leviticus. This is a dream come true! Oh, uh, well, we're not going anywhere. We'll see you in a minute. Bye! <laughs> Joseph thinks he has grandparents that actually care about him. Yeah, he seemed really excited. That's part of the prank. Huh? I know what's going to happen. Really they will be appearing in the land of the no, field. Just, really good just since we saw the fun. That's how good the prank is. Oh, oh, oh. There he is. Okay, come on, come on. Hello? Hey, guys. Where are my grandparents at? Where's your grandparents at? Yeah, dude. I finally have grandparents now. Every night. And think about ending it all. And I finally was going to do it. Tonight was going to be the night. Oh, I'm so tired of being lonely. But now I have something to live for, and that's my grandparents. Where are they? Oh, I feel bad. Me too. I think and you all fought for doing I'm that. Sorry. Um, Joseph, what if this whole grandparents thing was just a big prank? Just a big prank. <laughs> just a big prank. <laughs> I would just kill everybody. <laughs> It's not, it's not a prank. We just saw your grandparents, right, Cody? Yeah, yeah, we did. Yeah, we just saw them. Oh, where are they? Well, they pulled their limo up in front of the neighbor's house, and then when they were walking across the neighbor's yard, the neighbor shot them. What? Why would he do that? And the neighbor thought your grandparents were robbers, so he shot them. Oh, what hospital are they in? Stupid, Junior. Stupid. The neighbor shot him with a flamethrower, so it disintegrated your grandparents into a million pieces. Oh, I'm going to kill your neighbor. Well, then the cops showed up and, and shot the guy's flamethrower, and it blew up, so he blew up into a million pieces, too. Oh, I'm gonna kill your neighbor's family! Oh, well, the neighbor's family, they, they moved out of that house. When they saw him die, they sold their house immediately because they didn't want to remember the house for that. So they, they moved to uh, Antarctica. Oh, what a fast realtor! Um, well, at least my grandparents left me all their money. Oh, the news just keeps getting worse and worse, Joseph. What? As your grandparents are burning alive, they screamed out, We took every no way! bill in cash that we were gonna give Joseph and put it in the, the trunk of the limo. And then the neighbors shot the limo with the flamethrower, so all the money burned up and exploded. What? There's so much fire in this story! I know. <laughs> Oh, well, the news crew showed up, and the guy shot the news crew with the, with the flame. Everything is a big up, mistake, so, no, so no. Yeah, yeah, that guy was a real maniac. He, he burned a lot of things and a lot of people. Yeah. Oh, I'll never be happy. Well, Joseph, but stuff like this happens every day. No, it doesn't. Well, look, 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 Joseph, Joseph, look. Me and Cody found this phone, and we've been prank calling people. You want to go make some prank calls? That'll cheer you up. Mm -hmm, I guess so. Yeah, come on, buddy. <laughs> so, Joseph, who do you want to prank call first? Uh, I don't know, dude. I'm sad. Cheer up. Joseph, why don't you prank call Chef Pee Pee? That'd be funny. You could act like you're a Nigerian prince and you need money. Why? Because I'm black? What? No. 
Oh, you make everything about that. Um, how about you? You always say that. What are you asking for? A car extended warranty. Ooh, ooh, you could call and ask if he has ten pound balls. Isn't that only funny for the bowling lanes? What? No, I just want to know how big his ball sack is. Uh, well, what? You should let Joe Cody? Decide because he's the one that's sad. I'll just do the Nigerian Prince one, dude. Oh, it's gonna be really funny. <laughs> okay, guys, just rigging. You gotta stop crying, Joseph. It's not gonna be funny. Hello. Hello, Chef BB. Todd. <laughs> I told you to stop calling me. I broke up with you. It was a one night thing, okay? A one night thing. Look, look. Stop crying. It's what do you mean, Todd, Chef me. Pippi? It's not How do you know about Todd? Get the heck. I'm just more into girls, you know? I'm trying to find myself, okay? <laughs> look, you have that kind of girl that, that I used to remember that I don't like. I can come see if you all remember back in 2021, my reactions, all my 2022. I'm coming to see you. Reaction, not my 2022, but more of my 2021 ones. Okay. No, 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 not 2022. I mean, I well, my 2020 reaction, my 2020 reaction. Oh, 2019. Make sure you check them out if you haven't. Dude, I'm just gonna leave. There's someone at the door. We'll walk you out, Joseph. Hello. Hey there, is Joseph here? Who are you? Oh, hey, there we go. There we go. Now the sesame of fear will be better. Take you around the world and give you lots of men. Joseph, these are your grandparents. Oh, I get what's going on here. You felt so bad for me that my grandparents died that you hired these clowns to pretend to be them. Oh, no, 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 Joseph, these are your real grandparents. These are your real grandparents. Yep, yep, that's right. No, they're not my real grandparents, dude. Look, I gotta get you over know, this. Now, if Junior Cody doesn't be that stupid, baby, they should not even done that prank. I, I gotta mourn on my own. Could have been better if you didn't do that prank. Like, your, your grandparents aren't dead. Those are your real grandparents. Okay, dude. Now you're making me feel real bad, dude. They're already dead. You don't have to rub it in. What? Show them. What, what's wrong with him? Well, no, no, uh, he's just so excited to see you guys. So come inside and we'll figure it out. Yep, yep. All right. <laughs> But Joseph, Joseph, you have to listen to me. These are your grandparents. No, they're not, dude. You told me yourself that my grandparents died and they're not coming back. No, 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 no. Joseph, Joseph, listen. Junior was lying. Your grandparents didn't really get burned up by a flamethrower. Shut up, Four Eyes. You don't know what you're talking about. Junior would never lie to me. He's my best friend. Isn't that right, dude? But I would lie to you. I lie to you all the time. And these are your grandparents. He's been doing That's this. He's lie. been doing this <laughs> lying ever since. You want to lie to me to make me feel better? Now, now, Joseph, now, Joseph, listen here, son. Now, listen here. We are your your grandparents, mm -hmm. and we just want to spend a bunch of money on you before we die. Yeah, that's right, baby, because we don't know how much longer we got left, and we want to spend our final days with our grandbaby. Yep, we just want to get you whatever you want. You see that pearl necklace your grandma wearing? I got that for her today. In between you and me, that's the second pearl necklace I got her today. Mm hmm Yep, she a freak. She freak. That makes sense. Get away from me, strangers, before I call the police. Wait, wait, wait. That, that, that's it. Wait, Cody, the police. What if we call the police, and the police will tell them that the flamethrower thing never happened? Yeah, good thinking, Junior. I'll go call the police, and, and then I'm going to... You haven't even called, called the police. Scenes, that's why. Okay, uh, Joseph, yeah, we're going to call the cops. Yeah, you better. Hey there, you called the cops? Oh, uh, yeah, I need your help. Mm. I can tell. What? Well, there's no way you're going to take on all these people in basketball by yourself. You're going to need my help. Hold on, we'll be skins. What? Oh, this is not basketball. basketball. basketball against me. Pass me the rock. We're not playing basketball. Well, why couldn't you have told me that before I unbuttoned my shirt? Now my nipples are going to get all cold. They're going to get diamond hard. Feel them. I'm not going to feel them. I need your help. So I, I prank called my friend, and I told him his grandparents got killed by a flamethrower. Why the hell would you do that? Well, anyway, his real grandparents showed up, and he doesn't believe that those are his grandparents because he thinks they're dead. So can you tell him that nobody died by a flamethrower today? Why don't you just tell him that you're liar. I did. He won't believe me. You gotta tell him. Okay, fine. Hey, kid. Uh, what do you want from me, you stupid pig? Okay, screw you then. Well, no, 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 tell him. Yeah. No, he was oh, being oh, Please tell him. Joseph. Okay, fine. Hey, kid. Oi, 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 pig. Be the bigger man. Be the bigger man. That hat's dumb. It's a dumb hat. You look stupid in that hat. Damn it. I'm sorry. I was, I was trying to be mature. Uh, tell him. Look, look, your grandparents aren't really dead. What? Really? No, there was no flamethrower. I mean, I'm pretty sure that would have been on the news. It would have been a big deal. But Junior said that the, the news people got hit by the flamethrower. Really? Tell them the truth. Look, no, that didn't happen either, okay? There's more than one group of news people. You would have heard about it. Oh, I see what's going on. Junior, you hired this crooked cop to lie to me. <laughs> what crooked cop? I got scolded. Like I just on. said, he straight. always lies. No, I'm not paying the cop to lie to you. You can't even do that. Well, yeah, they do it all the time, dude. Yeah, it's true. People pay me to lie all the time, and I've planted a lot of evidence. Well, then what can we do to make him believe it? Ooh, ooh, ooh. How about this? How about I change into my doctor outfit, and then I give him a DNA test? He's got to believe that. Oh, yeah, 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 DNA test. Okay. I'm gonna go change in my doctor outfit. Okay. All right, I got my doctor outfit on. All right, Joseph, we're gonna do a DNA test to prove to you that they are your grandparents. Oh, what a waste of time. They're not my grandparents. Yes, they are. Listen to the doctor. Yeah. Wait, wait, aren't you that police officer that lied to me a second ago? 
Yeah. Well, aren't you gonna lie to me about the DNA test results? All right, look, I give up. These people are not your real grandparents. Your real grandparents are dead. Tell me something I don't know. No, no, no. Hold on, Joseph. Hold on. We just wanted to be good grandparents and be in your life and buy you a bunch of stuff. But it's obvious now that you don't want that. So let's go, baby. Well, I always love you, baby. All right, I'm gonna walk them to the car, you know, since they're old. Thank God those posers are gone. But Joseph, those were your real grandparents. Well, I thought that the smell feel was gonna be good, but a little bit mediocre where it used to be. Please don't leave. No, I'm out of here, dude. I'm tired of this. First, my grandparents die, and then you hire fake grandparents to, to make fun of me. Wait, 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 what's that screaming? Dude, you're not listening to me. Oh, I am. I'm sorry. All this happened because I lied what to you. The heck? I'll, I'll never lie to you again. I want to be a good what friend. What was for that? You. Okay, dude. I accept your apology. Jesus Christ, get, get in the house. Close the door and what's lock going it. On? There's a maniac out there with a flamethrower. He just burned up those old people. Dang. <laughs> Is that a for sale sign in your neighbor's yard? That fast? Who can sell a house at a time like this? And, but it, there's a buyer already? And a U-Haul truck? This is insane! Oh good, the police are here. Oh, oh my god! They just shot the guy with the flamethrower and now he's on fire! There's so much fire happening in your front yard! Uh, let's, let's get out of here. Yeah, dude. Oh, the humanity! Man, I was backed up. Todd, where are you? I even have the cowboy hat! What, who's Todd? Oh, I guess he's my ex now. <laughs> I, I can be your rebound, Chef Phoebe. What in the flipping hell was that? You know, I don't know what the heck would just happen in the ending, but that was pretty F up. But this SML feel was a bit mediocre because, well, I don't want to talk about it, but it was some random reasons and genuine lying and that's it. And that ending, what the frick was that? What kind of ending was that? So they all died. Wow, I don't know what to tell you. That was it, I guess. Make sure you go and subscribe to SML down below and I will see you all later. Peace.